welcome to another video in this video we will discuss a business scenario and we will implement that scenario using power automate let's understand the scenario first the scenario is the we have to get the top 10 100 emails and every 15 minutes the requirement is every 15 minutes the power automate should check the 100 emails top 10 100 emails in your outlook and it will uh, run through all the you know all the top 10 100 emails and check the subject whether it contains meet now if it does not contain meet now in the subject the process will end but if the subject contains meet now it will again check is this a high important high important email flagged if it is no then it will check whether the email is from your boss or pr from your manager if it is from your manager although it is not high importance then it will send a mobile notification push notification if it is high importance it also send a push notification but if it if it is not from your boss and it is not high importance then it will not do any any notification but if it is high importance or low importance but it is from your boss it will send a push notification and mark that 100 email edge read okay so this is the business scenario we will implement using power automate so let us see how we can implement that okay so let so let us go to the power automate portal and here you can start with a new schedule cloud flow why schedule cloud flow because the requirement is like it should run every 15 minutes isn't it so go and create a schedule flow and give a name process uh, emails every 15 minutes send notification so use your name that is sensible and you can use the start time when you start this flow uh, this schedule flow I have to start immediately right so this is the current date and I can choose a timing so the timing is let's say it is currently 7 30 p.m. India time sorry 7 0 3 so I can choose uh, 7 15 right I can edit also in line no you cannot edit guys so you can choose one from this list so let's say it should start from 7 15 or if you want to change uh, is there any uh, prior date let me check 7 p.m. is there now if I use 7 p.m. it is currently 7 4 p 7 point uh, 0 4 p.m. right currently in India that's why it will immediately start right the because I am selecting the old uh, the earlier date time time now do you want to repeat yes I want to repeat every 15 minutes click on create and once it is created you can choose the recurrent step and you can define the time zone i want to define the time zone as india time zone right so you can scroll down and in, this is the india time zone and this is the start date and time i have mentioned here right so this is the date date time and this is the date and this is the time so so you can change the time if it is wrong so it is seven means uh, 19 right 19 and you can change the timing edge 0 that means it is 7 p.m. now you can add a step so what is the logic the logic is get top 10 100 emails now the trigger is identified to run every 15 minutes next in every 15 minutes it will get all emails from your outlook so use new step and search outlook you can use Office 365 Outlook and use an option called as Get Emails. Right, so you can scroll down. You see Get Emails version 3. You can use. Now this will sign sign in using your current credential that you have logged in. And in this Office 365, you can choose which folder it will check. You are reading Inbox folder, right? now do you want to read 
uh, only unread messages or read messages also you want right i only want unread messages right so fetch only unread messages yes i don't don't uh, i don't want the power automate include the uh, already read messages then do you want to include attachment if you don't need the attachment you select as no but in your power automate if you want to process the uh, attachments in the uh, emails then use include attachment as yes so top 10 you can use top 10 because i want to process top 10 if it is top 20 you can change this count now this step will get all the emails unread emails top 10 unread emails not all right now what is the next step this step is done but we want to check we want to check a condition whether the subject contents meet now or not right now to do that we can use here a condition control and a condition it will check whether the subject of the email right because it will do a loop right because the get email uh, returns multiple emails as an array and we want to process one by one record to check whether the subject contains if subject contains meet now right if it does not contain if the subject does not contain meet now i don't want to do anything if it contains meet now i want to do something right in the in the yes branch i want to do something what i want to do if it contains meet now then check whether the email is sent as received as high importance so go here and check so in the yes i will add another condition and add the add the condition importance if importance equal to high right then what you want to do if importance is high if yes send post notification right so use a uh, use a step send notification post notification in the yes part because importance is high so just search notification and you want to use mobile notification right so give a text message here We have received a uh, important email from I want to use the from address right you can use the link if, if there is any link you can use otherwise you can specify the uh, date and time here I want to keep it uh, the link blank okay so the label I want to display email from from address and date time date time I want to use received on right the received time so to send notification now I want to mark that email as read right so what I can do I can click on add an action and use outlook and use an action mark edge read if you go down you can see that yes mark edge read or on read so click this you have to choose the message id this is the message id and this is the ori uh, original mail address is not required message id and markage read markage read equal to yes right now this part is done now we will go to this part if it is not high importance check whether it is from your boss or not now go here this is not high importance no part go here and use office 365 connector to get your current manager right that means the manager of the 
email so get so use sorry office 365 user sorry guys we have to use office 365 users and use a step called as manager get manager and get manager step requires the the email uh, requires a user right i want to read a manager for a user right where is where is the user so in the email address in the to address to field the user is there for which we are expecting to read manager so you, you can use to address right because to is the field in the email which contains the user for which i want to read the manager right so i have so this step retrieves the manager of the um, email to address email to user right now i want to check a condition if this managers this managers email id and from address is equal or not if it is equal the email is from the boss so check a condition control condition so here i want to check a condition what is the condition if the mail so this mail from get manager step is nothing but the manager's email if this mail equal to from sorry if this email a manager's email equal to from email if the manager email is equal to from address then the email is received from uh, from that boss user's boss right now i want to do the same thing send notification so i can copy clipboard and paste it here right send notification and you have been uh, the message is you have received an important email i can change it you have received an email email from your boss you have received an email from your boss right that's all now the requirement is done but marking as read is step uh, is um, is left so you can add in step as an uh, add an action and use office 365 outlook and mark it as read step so just scroll down and you can use mark as read message id we have already message id with us because the loop <coughs> loop is running and here i can mark it as yes now everything is done now i can test this so this flow is done correctly you see now let us test this save it okay now which mailbox it is trying to read let me check so this is my in mailbox which which will be uh, checking right every 15 minutes <coughs> now let me open my manager and send an email to uh, me uh, let me open in another window so this way i can test so let me go to outlook.office.com and search login to own microsoft dot com so i am logging uh, i am logging using the manager credential and i want to send an email to the user from the manager's email to see if it is working fine or not let me create a new email i don't want to send as a high importance email i just want to send an email normal email but from manager 
so to whom i want to send i want to send to uh, this person right because this person's email is uh, checking in the flow and sending an email but remember the meet now uh, filter should be there meet now string should be there in the subject otherwise it will not do anything right please meet now it's for project i can specify something here and click on send so what i have done from this user i have sent an email to me now let me check if it is running or not let me test i can test it manually so how many records it is returning we can check so this is the information we have received you see please meet now it's urgent for the project that means the data is retrieved now it is checking i have not sent that email <coughs> as a uh, high importance right i have not specified high importance email so it is running apply to each loop one record found and it is checking whether it is uh, whether the subject contents meet now or not it contents meet now so went to the if yes part again it is checking whether it is uh, high importance or not no it is not high impo importance so if it is not high importance it is going to the no part and getting the manager information right so this user's manager is this one it retrieved now again it is checking a condition if the manager email and from address is same it is true right because i have sent from the manager and of course in the office 365 the managerial uh, association should be there if you if you do not associate the manager it will not work so define the manager first attach the manager information in the office 365 user uh, information then it will work then it is true that means the email is from manager so it send a mobile notification to me and it it uh, marked the email edge a read right so every step success and the flow running fine the and also i have received a um, mobile notification in my mobile right so this is how we have done this so like that you can create your own business scenario and perform a power automate as per your own business need thank you guys i hope you understand how different types of business scenarios can be implemented using conditions and loops see you guys bye